Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 27th June, we'll talk about the miracle that uh, Elisha performed. Uh, in, in 2 Kings 4, 18 to 37, we see this. We see several miracles that were done through Elisha. And this is the first and perhaps the most prominent of these in the account of Elisha's dealings with the wealthy woman from the town of Shunem. She and her husband decided to aid the prophet's work by giving him room and board, board on his uh, regular travels across the land of Israel. Wishing to reward their generosity and discovering that the couple had no heir uh, for their considerable wealth, the prophet promised the Shunammite woman a son within a year. With understandable skepticism, she begged the prophet not to toy with her, but nonetheless Elisha's promise came true. The Shunammite learns that God is a life-giving God, for she was barren and she bore a son just like Sarah bore a son when her womb was dead. But the son died after some time, so she will learn that God is the God of resurrection also. So Elisha is uh, teaching her two lessons. Her child had uh, survived the dangers of infancy only, be, only to be cut down in childhood. It must have been inexplicable to his mother. He had been given to her by the Lord because of the kindness she had shown to his servant Elisha. How often the Lord's ways seem strange to us. Hopes may be suddenly blighted, prospects changed, loved ones snatched away. Yet God's ways are always ordered by infinite love and wisdom. She had lost her son, but not her faith. So she stirs her herself into action. No preparation was made for the burial of the child, but uh, because she anticipates his resurrection, by laying him on Elisha's bed, which they had arranged in their house. Look at her faith. She had not asked for a child, but she could not believe that he had been taken irre irretrievably from her. What a trial it was to her faith to know that uh, Elisha was many miles away just when she needed him most. Her husband's words, words tested her faith still further. His thoughts could rise no further than moons and sabbaths and he associated God with religious festivals and the observance of days. Because when she started going to uh, the prophet, he was asking her, eh, it's neither a sabbath day or a full moon day, why are you going? He didn't understand. She just said, it will be well. Looking beyond the present trial and anticipating a happy return, Faith can say in the darkest hour it is well. She had no doubt about the successful outcome of her errand, though she rightly felt that the servant and the staff would be of no avail, so she would not leave El Elisha. Elisha, instead of going by himself, he sent his uh, uh, disciple, but he, she didn't want him. Anyway, she, he was sent and he came without doing anything. She knew that nothing but the power of God brought in by one who was in touch with God who would restore the dead child. Only contact with the living Lord can give life and sustain that life when it has been received. Her persistence and faith was rewarded. Elisha prayed to the Lord who alone can raise the dead. The Shunammite showed no surprise at the miracle for she believed in the God of resurrection and he did not disappoint her. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us how uh, Shunammite had faith in our, our Lord and Savior. Please help us to increase our faith. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.